Hello guys, today I'm doing a video on this new 8-bit CPU I'm making. <clears throat> so, right here we have our RAM. It's really big. I was thinking of making it like 4 here and 4 on that side. But, I was thinking that, but it would just be a little bit harder than making a straight line. I mean, I can do that in the next CPU. Because, yeah. But, it's it's just gonna be a little hassle with the decoder I already made. It's already long, so let's go grab it. Here is our decoder. So we're gonna need to select some points with world edit. So we're gonna need to select this point right here. Cause, so it could get this, and we don't need this right now, but, and we need to go to all the way to the other corner, oh it's lagging, and we're going to select right here, and we're going to need to rotate it, um, 180 degrees, so, first what we do, is we're going to, Slash slash copy. Let's go a little bit higher up so that we can have space. And yes. There we go. I just had to adjust something. So let's. Oh, that's my old square extractor. Let's go right about here, I and mean, then so we're gonna rotate 180. Slash dash page. Yes, okay. And now we could go to our. <clears throat> and I think we can do it right about here. Let's go out a couple blocks. And oh, oh, um, okay, we're gonna need to bring it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, like, one, two, let's bring it down here and then slash undo. And then, here, let's try. Is that a good spot? Oh, I'm going to bring it back. Like, two as well. And, maybe up to two. So, slash, slash, undo. And then slash slash pick. And then we can bring it two times. Undo. Now slash slash paste. I think that's good. Yes. Perfect. Now what we do is, oh, we're gonna have to redo those pistons, but not the second, because I need to do some things. And you might see it's a little bit shorter. I'll show you how to fix that. And this time I'll try to leave a world download. But I just don't know. Cut. Okay, so, what we need to do, so there's these little gaps that we need to undo, so we need to move these down. So we need to select this point here, and we need to go off. It's going to take a long time to do this. And then, so slash, move one. Um, it was right. 
No, it's not. Sash, Sash. Uh, let's try. Okay, okay. Okay, so I think I got it. I was trying to figure it out. So we could do it here and then all the way down. It's gonna take a long time. And this is 8 bit, so it's gonna take even longer. And then slash move. Now, um,. Oh, we did not get these, so we could cut them for now. Cut. And this whole decoder is going to take a long time to build. Wait, why does this one have three? Wait. Okay. There we go. And we're gonna work on some debugging and just all the stuff is gonna is what we're gonna do. Like Yeah. And we'll fix these torches for a different method. I'll show you later. And we'll do this later. And keep in mind, this is not going to be the fastest CPU. So we're going to do this each time. So we're going to, have to select. Yeah. Um. Let me check this one one time. Okay. I think if we moved two, move two, then that'll work better. And I expect this to be a longer video because this. And I did not make a part one because, um, this RAM is really easy to make if you just, it doesn't really matter what RAM you use, you can make search up videos, so, yeah. Move. Perfect. Wait. Okay, perfect. Perfect. And we're gonna do that each time, and then I'll work on redoing these little bugs that happen. But right now it's in a good state because this one needs to be flipped because the whites need to be down when the, no inputs are on, and the blacks have to be up when no inputs are on. So whites down, and yeah. Okay. Um, let me just move that out the way. So, let's keep that. And then I'll have a little buffer in this little section that, so that we it can say if we're going to do it. So that everything is just not cycled all in one go, just like that. Because you can't just input something and then it goes. Like, input a number. So yeah, so here, this one now, we have to select one, not each one, some of them are different, some of them are not. So here, and it's not going to take that long because there's only about four segments each, and now move and move. <laughs> um, where was I? I was right. Here, I think. I think that was. It's okay. Yeah. Now we'll go here. Now this one we move two. So we find our little thing. Here. And. Now here. Sasash move. And let's check it. 
I think it was this one, or was it this one? No, okay, it was this one. Make sure, nice. Now this is this is a nice ram because the way how fast it is, it's actually pretty fast. But it's not the fastest. I, I could right now just take half of it and then put it on the other side for with the decoder and have two inputs going to each side. But that would be a little bit of a hassle because I don't want to have two things and then I want to run both. So I could just have a next CPU. That's what it will do. And look how small the ALU is compared to the RAM. And it's 8-bit, just to keep in mind. This is a bigger project from that little CPU. Maybe one day I'll make a 64-bit CPU, but not today. And then, just so you know, this decoder is all in binary, so it's the simplest one I knew. Or I knew how to make, because my favorite way and I also have that one down there, so yes. Okay. Now we go down to right here. Find our little bit. Wait. Um. Yes. Right here. And come. On. Now we can move. And I believe. That was right here. Yep. I could just look at it by the things. So the next one will be right here. Wait. Yes, right here. So slash move. Check. And let me check good <clears throat> and as I'll just get a little high view real quick just to get a little picture of it and it's a really nice CPU that's good and I'm not sure if this this CPU has extra bits it might but yeah find our little spot right here okay let me check how many bits there are here because we might have extra so each one is eight I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. Okay, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. Oh, there's a lot. Okay. So these two are extra. We do not need them. It's just something that happens when you miscalculate it. Oof, we're all about it. Such a cut. Oh, I missed those things. It's okay. Really easy to build. Okay. Now, what we have to do is debug this real quick. Not that long, it is really quick. So, let me first we're gonna set these here. And what we need to do is we just need to do that on each one. It's 
two little tech poles. Okay. And then I'll add the repeaters later because I do not want to do that just yet. Well, you know, why not? Let's do it. Okay. There we go. I didn't want that. Um, Mark's messing us up. This CPU is not, it's actually not hard to make, it's just gonna take you longer to make, because we have to make more inputs, and what's it gonna do, not, none of these inputs are gonna do anything, because I'm not using them, each one, that's, but, what can we do, we can run Mario, so, I'll, I'll, I'll work on that, making a Mario, and yeah. Okay, this one needs to be debugged. Not each one. Debugged. Wait. Yes. Okay. This is a really nice way of milling a CPU with um longer because like i said inputs are not as long it's not going to take longer to do a half and half and then this one's done so let me just check this how long does it go up to okay we could add one more So we could run Mario on this if I want to. And yes. Um this one needs to be debugged. <clears throat> Last one, not too hard. There we go. And it takes a small delay just to get into the input. And now, we have finished. <sighs> so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times eight, sixty-four. Sixty-four inputs. And same thing with the decoder. 
Nice. Okay. We are re recording for like 20 minutes. So, yes. What we can do now that this is a pretty good CPU so far. Nice fast RAM. And then our read's gonna be here. And well that it's so hoping so much. Um so like our old CPU we did not have any our our old RAM I'll go show it. It was it, it we didn't have any buffers on it. This one right here, this big one. So no matter what we did, we always read it. Even if we were on that line. Like, if the computer was on that line, and it wanted to write something, it would still go to the input, and it would still be read. That's a bad thing. But, so the buffer could be around here, but still, it would be better if we just had a buffer. Instead of this here, coming like that. I mean, this is a buffer, but we can't manually activate it, if, or manually activate all of them when we want to. And this was a little too wide out, like. So, as you can see. But yeah. And then, I'll show another example. Um, here's the old CPU, I remember this. Um, I'm not sure if the, yeah, okay. Was this the bad one, or the good one? Oh, I'm trying to see. I think this was the good one. Yes. Pretty good of a CPU for its speed, but not as good as performance. Like, what you could do with it. You can't do as much stuff with this. The on doesn't even have something to go to. And um, yeah. Like care and the carry out oh, this was inverted. Next time I can put a um a read so the read address I think was right here and then the other read. I can fit it all into one slot, but if we do that we can't our computer inputs cannot read because then we'll have to make it slower and yeah. Okay. Nice. Let's start with the buffer. So obviously we need um one of these to come out. And then we need a piston. And we'll line it up just with this. There and that there. Perfect. And this will be our buffer. So no matter what we do, we're sending data from the decoder. We cannot send it until we activate our little buffer. And what we do is do that. And even though this decoder is kind of slow, I it doesn't really matter. So now what we could do is we could put a block here. So that's your stack. We'll do 64. Anyways, what uh, you'll see is that some of them mess up. So we're going to have to do slash undo. And yeah, we're just going to have to do them each by each segment. So it's going to be easier if we actually do them manually. And that um 
I did have a world that actually got deleted. You remember that I just showed you that big gram um, without the buffers? I made it all by hand. It was all 64. I did use some uh, clone or I forget the little command slash clone. I think it was clone. Yeah, it was that command. And it, I had a really hard time with it using that command. But, anyways. We stretch. <sighs> now we can just do this. Oh, I have an idea. We could do. Okay. We can copy each thing for this segment. And yeah. I'll show you. So let's. Um, okay, let me see. I can move this over one. Because I don't want it to interrupt, so. Oh. But the read's right here. A so. read's right there. I don't want to interrupt that. And yes, let's bring it up, like. A couple. Yeah, let's make it even with that piston, just for easy access. Um, let me check. Okay. I think it can reach. No, no, I forgot it can't. So I had to go like that and it's gonna take a little while but it's not like the computer clock will be as fast as each input so it's gonna take a little while and then what we do is we have to um i think that works let's see Let's get a target block. Oh. I believe these do not interrupt anything. Oh, oh. Wait, let me just put those blocks back. Okay, we're gonna need these two here. Okay, that does not interrupt, I believe. Yeah, well done. And that sounds coming from there. Um, okay. And once I do this segment, um, cause, um, actually I have the videos about done, but yes. What we can do is grab this little segment, put dust down there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 14 and then we'll put it right here and yeah but i'll next video i'll finish that up and make sure to subscribe for the next video